200 years ago, the West was home to over 100,000 bears. Today, there are about a thousand. Human development has turned their feeding grounds into suburban backyards. And public sentiment threatens to exile the grizzly bear to isolated wildlife preserves. Yet it is here, in these remaining patches of wilderness, that these endangered grizzly bears must make their last stand. In a world where game preserves offer little protection, there is a place where much is being done to keep wildlife corridors open. Montana's Blackfoot River Valley is a community of about 2,500 families. Most are ranchers, and they treasure a rural lifestyle that hasn't changed very much for generations. Through the center of their valley runs the crystal clear waters of the Blackfoot River, celebrated in the book and movie, A River Runs Through It. I think Norman McLean's phrase, the river runs through it, is so, uh, is so true because it binds the people in the community together. Some people use it for agricultural purposes, others use it for recreational purposes. It's the thing that brings us together. What also brought the community together was the fact that their beloved river was surrounded by one of the most robust grizzly bear habitats in the country. The Blackfoot Valley lies at the southern edge of what we call the Crown of the Continent ecosystem, which includes Glacier National Park and the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Um, unfortunately, that high area is at such a high elevation that it doesn't have the most productive lands. And so critters like grizzly bears, while they winter up there, they hibernate up in that high country, they need to come down on these valley floors in the springtime and particularly the fall time for foraging reasons. Several decades ago, the community decided they'd rather live with grizzly bears than cut off their wildlife corridors and isolate them into extinction. To help save the bears, they formed a grassroots alliance called the Blackfoot Challenge. 